Hi, and welcome to Cooking with Beef Fed. I'm your host, Joshua Glenn. What does the Civil Rights Movement, New Orleans, and Disney have in common? We'll find out when we look at the life of Leah Chase of the famed New Orleans restaurant, Dookie Chase. Let's make her breakfast shrimp and grits. This recipe is pretty simple in terms of ingredients, using all fresh ingredients, though you could make some substitutions for things that you may have in your cabinet. We'll talk about that a little bit more. So we're gonna start by boiling some water in a two quart pot and we're going to take our tomatoes and just hold them in the water for about 15 to 20 seconds and what we're doing is we're just going to make this where it's easier to peel the tomatoes where we don't really want to cook them and another way to make them easy to peel is to put a x or a cross at the very top where the stem would be on the tomato and when you throw it into the cold water is going to make this a lot easier to peel. And as you see, I'm doing this here with one hand and the skin will just come off and the tomato will stay whole, making it very easy. So we have our butter here that we're adding into our pan on for medium heat. And we're just going to let this butter melt. And once it's almost completely melted, we're gonna add in our onions, bell pepper, and fresh garlic that we have chopped. And we're just going to saute this until the onions are transparent. You want to make sure that you keep them moving. You don't want them to burn. And kind of let them do their thing once they begin. So once your onions are transparent and the vegetables have softened, we're going to add in our diced tomatoes, the fresh diced tomatoes that we use, and our basil. Now you could use canned diced tomatoes here if you wanted to. Um, if you didn't have any fresh tomatoes, really up to you. Just make sure if you use canned tomatoes that you strain off all of the juice that is in there. So we're going to add our seasoning, some cayenne and paprika and salt and give that a good stir just to get everything incorporated. And to that we're going to add our shrimp. Now this is two pounds of medium to large shrimp. This is your choice here. Or you could use small shrimp, whatever you're able to find. I'm using some pre-frozen shrimp that are veined and peeled and we are just I just let them defrost and we're just gonna stir those in and then cover it up and let it do its thing over medium low heat now here we have some boiling water or chicken stock I use chicken stock with a little bit of butter in it we're just following the instructions on the five minute grit container and we're gonna begin stirring that and get those grits cooked now here's where the magic happens once your grits are cooked you're gonna add in your milk and egg mixture and this is just a fourth a cup of milk and an egg. And you can use whole milk, fat-free milk, heavy cream, half and half, whatever you want to use here. We're just going to get this really good and incorporated. And then we're going to add in our cheddar cheese. Now this is a cup of shredded cheddar. You could use any cheese. You really want some Gouda or some white cheddar or just any Swiss would be really good in this. So once you get the, the cheese is completely melted, you want to put that into a pan that has been either buttered or sprayed down with like some cooking spray. And we're gonna put that in a 375 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. Today we honor Leah Chase, known as the queen of Creole cuisine. It would be a stretch to say that a movie about a woman turning into a frog is based on a true story, but even fairy tales can find inspiration from truth. And if you want to meet the real life Tiana from The Princess and the Frog, look no further than Leah Chase. Born in 1923, Chase was the kitchen wizard behind New Orleans staple restaurant Dookie Chase. My first job in New Orleans was working as a waitress at a restaurant. That was in the 1940s when it was almost an unheard of for a young black girl, a so called Creole of color, to go and work in the French Quarter. That was a no no she said. That may have been her first job, but that was just the beginning. In 1946, she married jazz trumpeter and band leader Edgar Dukey Chase II. His parents owned a street corner stand in the Treme that sold lottery tickets and homemade po' boy sandwiches. Leah began working in the kitchen at the restaurant during the 1950s, and over time, she and her husband took over the stand and converted it into a sit-down establishment, Dukey Chase's Restaurant. She eventually updated the menu to reflect her own family's Creole recipes, as well as recipes that otherwise would only be available in whites-only establishments from which she and her patrons were barred. Dookie Chase became a staple in the black community of New Orleans, and by the 60s became one of the only public places in New Orleans where African Americans could meet and discuss strategies during the Civil Rights Movement. Leah and her husband would host many civic leaders and civil rights leaders, 
including NAACP, black political meetings, black voter registration campaign organizers, and eventually even Martin Luther King Jr. Leah received the James Beard Lifetime Achievement Award in 2016 for her lifetime's body of work, which had a positive and lasting impact on the way people ate, cooked, and thought about food in New Orleans. Many world-renowned chefs, such as John Besh and Emerald Lagasse, honored Leah Chase and credit her with perfecting Creole cuisine. Over her lifetime, Chase fed many celebrities and politicians and activists, including George W. Bush, Barack Obama, Hank Aaron, Lena Horne, James Baldwin, and so many other prominent figures in the African-American community as well as the community beyond. When Disney creators were looking for a story to inspire their new animated film about an African-American princess in New Orleans, it was easy for them to find Leah. Leah Chase died on June 1, 2019 at the age of 96, leaving a lasting impression on cuisine in New Orleans and even more, helping to make the world a better place, one dish at a time. After 15 minutes in the oven, your grits should be ready and it's time to eat. No wonder she's so famous and became a Disney princess. Remember to follow us on Facebook at Birmingham Maids Outreach or on our website at BAOBHM.org. Bye.